Hi everyone, welcome to Medicine Audio YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about an important topic in medicinal point. In all medicine colleges, these questions are asked in all medicinal fields like osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a group of skeletal disorder. It is not a single disorder. It is a group of skeletal disorder characterized by reduction of bone mass. It is not a single disease, but it is a group of disorder. So it is characterized by the reduction of bone mass per unit and the bone volume which results in increased risk of fracture even in absence of noticeable injury. Even in absence of noticeable injury. We doesn't not the notice whether it, it is a big injury or not. Even due to the absence of the noticeable injury, even in small injuries, these bones get fractured due to the loss of bone mass as well as the bone volume. The causes of this osteoporosis are it is mainly due to three which is one first one is it is due to the calcium dietary calcium deficiency especially in case of women both are, before premenopausal after postmenopausal a part of increased requirement of degree calcium absorption from the intestine decreases with age and the second one is genetic influence due to genetic influence the osteoporosis may be causes and the excessive alcohol or caffeine these are the three things which causes osteoporosis. Now you will see about the clinical feature of this osteoporosis. Bone loss progress for many years without causing symptoms. There might be bone loss progress for many years without causing symptoms. Shortened heights, bone pain, low back pain, difficulty in getting up from the chair is a major complaint for the woman at menopause with osteoporosis. Deformities of the skeleton such as kyphosis and the loss of height. These are the clinical features. The first one is bone loss progress from the many years without causing symptoms. Bone losses, bone loss progress for many years without causing symptoms. Shortened height of the bone. Pain in the low back pain. Difficulty in getting up from the chair is the major complaint for the menopausal women. The deformities of the skeleton such as kyphosis and the loss of height. These are the clinical features. Now the diagnosis are the history of fracture is associated with osteoporosis or vertebral fracture, hip fracture and college fracture of the distal radius. There is history of fracture is seen due to the decrease in density in the volume of the bone. There is hip fracture, vertebral fracture as well as college fracture. The radiograph it shows prominence of vertical trabeculae, generalized loss of contrast between the bone and the soft tissue. There is Generalized loss of contrast between the bone and the soft tissue. The management calcium 1.5 to 2 gram per day. If the calcium all absorption is there, the col polycalciferol 0.25 mg is given. Estrogen therapy 0.635 gram given in small thin women. When the women are thin and small, the estrogen is given. Calcium is given due to the calcium. It is more majorly caused due to the calcium deficiency. The calcitonin. 100 ISU is given to inhibit the bone resorption. NAF sodium fluoride which is 40 to 60 mg daily given for increasing the synthesis of osteoblast due to the osteoblast helps in the bone formation. These are the management for this osteoporosis. If you like this video please do like, share and subscribe my youtube channel. If you have any doubt in it please do comment it. If you want more videos please do subscribe. Thank you.